Former auctioneer Dean Cruz has been sentenced to 23 months of probation for defrauding a Delaware couple and another man. We first told you about the lawsuits in January. News Channel 15's Megan Royce talked with a couple from Delaware about it today, and she continues our coverage tonight from Studio 15. Megan? Heather, the couple from Delaware sold Cruz three classic cars in Pennsylvania in an auction because they were in a financial bind. Little did they know they'd have to fight for years to finally get what was rightfully theirs. Fred Fowler and his wife sold their two Hemi Cudas, one a convertible, and a 68 Shelby Mustang to Dean Cruz back in October of 2009 in Pennsylvania. I walked away with a check uh, for $198,500. The only problem is Cruz closed the checking account and the Fowlers were left empty-handed. They say they called him several times and later tracked him down in November in Texas at another car auction. He gave me a $50,000 check and told me he will give me the rest later. Deposited the check, come to find out he put a stop payment on the check so that 50000 was no good. That hurt Fowler because the whole reason he decided to sell the cars in the first place is because he needed the money for other financial obligations. And the result of all this, they had to get student loans and they had to, um, I had to get more money for mortgage to keep me afloat. So he put me in a very difficult uh, financial stress. Fowler says Cruz was not remorseful through any of the court proceedings. Truthfully, I don't feel he's sorry, for, sorry at all. Um, without a doubt, I mean, that's true. The judge even said he didn't feel like everybody knew that he was not sorry for what he does. Maybe he's sorry he got caught and he had to pay my money back to me that was supposed to be in the first place. Yesterday, Cruz pleaded no contest to two counts of theft by deception and two counts of theft by failure to make required disposition of funds. Besides probation, he is also required to pay the Fowlers and the other man from Pennsylvania in full. I left a message today for Dean Cruz, but I have not heard back from him. Reporting in Studio 15, Megan Royce, News Channel 15.